Hello there! In this guide I'll show you how to kill Kriora with the basic crossbow and chill method. This is probably the easiest of the God Wars bosses to kill and will actually give the most profit per kill. If this is your first time doing God Wars, click the link on screen to watch my God Wars introduction. It covers all the basics like how to get here, how to get KC and much more. Kree is airborne and therefore can only be attacked with ranged and magic spells. She's quite tanky so I'd recommend having 85 plus ranged and 44 plus prayer to kill her. However, if you have 74 prayer and rigor unlocked, this will help a lot. It's also recommended to bring blood barrages to heal off the minions. This will require you to have 92 magic and desert treasure completed. Alternatively, you can bring runes to summon skeletal thralls with the Archaea spellbook. This will require you to have 76 magic and the kingdom divided quest completed. It's recommended to be on task when killing Kriora, so you want to unlock Watch the Birdie for 80 Slayer points to start receiving Aviancy's task from your Slayer Master. The best Slayer Master to get Aviancy's assigned from is Duradel. If you are on task, you can use the imbued Slayer Helm to get an extra 15% boost to your range damage. In my experience, I get about 3 to 4 extra kills when I'm on task, which is absolutely massive. Kree mainly hits with a ranged attack with a max hit of 69. These are the Grey Tornadoes. But she can also use a magic attack with a max hit of 21, these are the blue tornadoes. The accuracy of her magic hit actually rolls against your ranged defense and not your magic defense bonus. Both of these tornado attacks will hit every player in the room. If you are not targeting her, for example when you eat a food and you don't click to target her again, she will fly towards you and try to scratch you with her melee hit that deals up to 26 damage. For the gear, you want to spec in as much ranged offense and high defense bonuses against all three combat styles. I bring some basic ranged gear and add a dragon fire shield and ring of suffering for some great defense bonus against all three combat styles. At Kree, I always bring the diamond dragon bolts E because you really want to maximize your kills per trip. I also bring the Zamorak Dehyde boots to not take aggro from Zamorak's followers. If you can't quite afford this setup, replace the armadillo top and bottom with carols the armadillo crossbow for a dragon crossbow, the DFS for a crystal shield and the necklace of anguish for a fury. Don't forget to add a piece of armadillo dehyde to your setup so you don't get wrecked getting here. If you have some more cash to spend, you can upgrade to a zerite crossbow, zerite van braces, bigasian boots and an elysian spirit shield or a dragon fire ward. If you want to try some Kree off task, you can replace the slayer helm with a justiciar face guard or a varox helm. For the inventory, bring your blowpipe to finish off the mage minion, and a 3-way mage switch to get extra damage when barraging. If you're not bringing barrage, you want to replace these with 3 Seradam and Bruce. Also bring 3 Bastion potions, 6 Anglerfish, 7 Super Restores and 3 Bruce. An ecumenical key is really important so you don't have to get kill count and waste your Slayer task killing normal Aviancies. Bring Bones to Peaches tablets to heal even more off the minions, a Myth Grapple to enter Armadil's Eerie, a Rune Pouch with Blood, Soul and Death Runes and a Teleport Out. Replacing all the angler fish for 4 extra brews and 2 super restores, you'll get a few more kills per trip, but if you're starting out, I would advise bringing some angler fish so you can combo eat and you don't lose your range boost every time you need to heal up. If you want to duo this boss with crossbows, one player should have this inventory setup with some extra food, a mage switch and blood barrages, while the other player brings all the super restores, bastion potions, and earth, water and astral runes to cost boost and stat restore potion share. These spells will require 84 magic and lunar diplomacy completed. In a duo you will get twice the value for each potion dose by sharing the super restore and bastion potions with your friend. Now let's have a look at a kill. This is the same if you're going solo or duo. Put on protect from ranged and rigor, drink a dose of your bastion potion and optionally overheal with an anglerfish and enter the room. Run to the southwestern corner of the room and hit Kree. That's basically it. It's really simple. I like to lazy flick Rigor to save some prayer points, but when I get below 50 HP I hover over my food to stay ready to eat. You want to keep your health over 40 at all times, and if you want to be extra safe I'd recommend keeping it over 50. Whenever you eat a food or drink a potion you want to immediately click back to attack Kree so she doesn't fly over to you and use her melee attack. Remember to drink a dose of your Super Restore every 3 brew doses, so you don't brew your stats down and try to limit yourself to 2 doses of Bastion Potion per kill. If Kree is really low by the time I need to brew up, I don't range pot, but if she's still at half health when I need to heal, I usually have a sip of range potion after brewing down because the kill will still take a long time. 
If you are bringing blood barrages, it's a good idea to use your armadillo crossbow special attacks for some extra DPS, because usually you'll end up with full health after blood barraging the minions and using bones to peaches anyway, even without using blowpipe specs. After you killed Kree, take down the mage minion Wingman Scree with your blowpipe. Bring the melee minion to the ranger and blood barrage him to get back to full health. If you have some inventory space, pick up the bones to turn them into peaches and pray at the altar to restore your prayer points. If you're gonna do this duo, both players should blowpipe the major and let the person with the barrage heal off the ranger and meleeer. Then just stand next to each other with except aid enabled to pot share to full prayer and share a ranging potion. The barrager should trade over some bones and extra food to the pot sharer if he is running low. Then go back to the corner to get ready for the next kill. When soloing, I usually get over 11 kills per trip. For your efforts, you will be rewarded with 270k per kill on average. Most of the profits come from the armor pieces, all of which drop at a rate of 1 in 381, and the hilt which is a 1 in 508 drop. Combine these drop rates and you can expect a drop worth over 10 mil every 102 kc. If you're still looking for people to duo God Wars or any other boss with, Join my discord by clicking the link down below. If you want to try out the chinning method or any of the other God Wars bosses, check out the playlist on screen now. If you're liking these guides, bless me with your subscription to help out the channel. Thanks for watching, see ya!